Welcome to Pavli Connect. So this tutorial is on how to filter array responses from a trigger. Guys, whenever you connect any application in a trigger, it's common to receive the response in array of data format. But that array may not always in the same format that we need. So that's why it is necessary to manipulate the array that you receive to extract the information that you want to pass on to any other application. So for that, we are going to use some features of Pavli Connect so that you can automatically filter out the array of data from the trigger and get the information that you want to pass on to some another applications. So without any further ado, let's begin. So this is a workflow I have created and in the trigger I have used webhook by Pavli feature. So with the help of this webhook by Pabli, you can get a webhook URL and you can use this URL to connect any application and to get the data. So I have uh, collected the data using this webhook URL manually and I have created this array here. Okay. You can get this kind of arrays from different applications. Okay. Now guys, I want that whenever this array contains a particular integer, that integer should be extracted out from the array and I'm going to pass on that integer in the next application. For that guys, I have used this action step and in this action step, I have used code by Pabli feature. With the help of code by Pabli, you can run JavaScripts, you can run Python scripts. Okay, so I have used run JavaScript action event and this is the javascript code i have used to find out a particular integer is present in this array or not okay so here you can see this is the javascript okay and in this javascript i have mapped the array that i have received from the trigger you can see let me show you uh, here this is the javascript is going to look like and here after this equals to when you put your cursor the first step, the trigger step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find a response right here. And by clicking on the response, you can map this array like this. And here you can see return ARR dot includes here we have this small bracket. And in this bracket, you have to put that integer or that value that you want to search in the array. Okay, so let's say uh, right now I have written 11. Let's say that I want to search for 13. So I'm uh, putting here 13. Okay. So if this value is present in the array, the response will be one. Okay. Here you can see we have this save and send test request button. Click on it and you will get the response. Right. So you can see the response is one. So whenever the inserted integer is present in the array, it will give you the response value output as one. And let's say if we change this digit to any other number, let's say uh, 10. Okay, so 10 is not present in the array. Let me click on save and send test request button. So whenever the uh, value is not present in the array, the output will be blank like this. Okay, so, right. So let me change it again. Let me put it here. 17 okay and let me click on save and send test request button and 17 is present in the array so it is showing us the output as one okay now guys i want to filter out i want to check this thing that whenever this value is present in this array then only i want to continue the workflow okay if this value is does not present in the array i do not want to continue the workflow that's why uh, th th and for that to happen we are going to use filter by pabli so what filter will do filter is going to with the help of filter you can apply some conditions and on that conditions you can run your workflow okay so here i want that whenever 17 is present in the array the workflow should continue so uh, if the 17 is present, the output of this uh, JavaScript is going to be one. Okay, so here in this action step, I have applied filter by Pabli and here it is asking to select a label, select your filter type and put a value here. So 
I have select to sel when you click on select label option, the previous steps will appear here in the drop down, and from the second step, code by Pebbly step, map this output, and this output sh must be equals to one. Okay, that means the uh, inserted digit is present in the array. Okay, so I have selected the filter type as equals to, and I have uh, inserted the value as one. Okay. And when you click on save and send test request button, you can see the condition is true. So whenever this condition matches true, this means whenever this previous steps shows you the output value as one, the workflow will continue. And after that, you can apply any actions that you want to do your work automatically. Okay. But here's how you can filter out the array that you have received in the trigger. And guys, uh, Furthermore, uh, there is another way to use this JavaScript code. What is that? You can manually define the array here. Let me show you. Let me just erase this and you can manually define an array here like this. Provide some angle brackets, uh, provide a square bracket, then uh, put some integers or any kind of data that you want to add. Okay, and close the square bracket. Okay, and here in place of this small bracket, in place of manually placing something, you can map any value from the previous step. Okay, so what it will do, this is uh, val the value that you are receiving in the trigger, you can uh, check that uh, receiving value inside a predefined array that you have in the JavaScript code. Okay. And you can see if this if that number or that value is present in our array or not. And if it present, you can continue the workflow. Okay, so you can use it in reverse order as well. Right now, I'm just using it for the arrays that we are receiving from the trigger. Okay, so let me map the array again. Let me put the value here as six. Okay. And so click on save and send test request and the output is one. So when this condition will met true, the workflow will continue and the actions after this filter step will be executed automatically. Guys, if you want to connect with our support team, you can email us at support at the You can ask and discuss your queries on our forum via this link and you can check the pricing plans of Pabli Connect via pabli.com slash connect hashtag pricing and guys if you like our videos do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much